Bogo Indian defense, Grunfeld variation. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. The Bogo Indian defense is a more positional opening and starts with bb4+, plus. black seeks to exchange the dark squared bishop and quickly castle king's side. nbd2 develops the knight and blocks the check. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king's side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This moves the bishop to safety. This prepares the bishop for development. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This kicks an opposing knight. This moves the knight to safety. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. Master Games. It is the last book move. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is good. Right on target. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is a mistake. This ignores a better way to develop a knight off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. That was a free pawn. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. This allows the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is a mistake. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. This threatens to pin a knight. It is best. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores a better way to develop a queen off its starting square. It is a mistake. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped bishop. It is good. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is excellent. This kicks an opposing queen. It is excellent. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This overlooks a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is a mistake. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This threatens to kick a queen. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes an attack, threatening a bishop. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This leads to losing a pawn. It is a mistake. This wins a pawn. 
It is a great move. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game.